what's going on guys we are actively mowing it's spring everything is looking good in the lawn but what's going to happen midsummer? so we got to know what's going on in our soil better yet what is going on just above the soil that is the thatch layer and that thing can be our friend but it can also be our enemy just as fast so in this video i'm going to be going over why I'm using Thatch Buster in my lawn, and I'm introducing soil microbiology into my lawn care program. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are back in the lab. You know, I'm not gonna get all sciencey on it. I'm just another DIY person, just like the next. You know, just trying to figure out this whole grass and soil game out. So thatch, what is it? It's organic matter. Rhizomes, stolons, crowns, roots that accumulate at the base of the plant and help keep our soil cool through our hot summer months. It's kind of like an organic layer of mulch for our soil when you really think about it. A thin layer of it is okay, and it helps control soil temperatures and moisture to protect us from drought. It's also a food source for soil microbes, which are the key components to having a healthy lawn. But there is a flip side to it. But first, let's go change backgrounds. It's a lot better out here. All right, this matter can build up and become a problem. And you think it's just because you're mulching your lawn. That, I mean, that's part of it. But the thing is, is when we're putting excessive amounts of nitrogen and fertilizer on our lawn, we're getting excessive growth. And when we get that, our shoots grow up bigger, our grass grows bigger, and then now we get plant debris around the base of the plant. And that's what thatch is. It's plant debris around the, the bottom and crown of the plant. Now the soil microbes can't keep up with the breaking down process. So now we're mulching our lawn on top of the already existing plant debris and thatch that is down there and the microbes don't have a shot at keeping up with it and now we're gonna build it all up. So now the lawn starts to feel spongy. Think of like a dirty filter. All of our nutrients and water are being absorbed into the thatch layer opposed to going into our soil. And now we got this cesspool of disease sitting in this dirty sponge filter that is at the crown of the plant. The wetting and drying cycles cause a bunch of spores to be produced. And now we have fungi and pathogens harboring in the thatch layer, ready to attack our lawns, like striped mutt, leaf spot, summer patch. So how do we fight this? One way is mechanically. Now while removing thatch manually with a rake is backbreaking, it's also satisfying using a dethatcher, but now you gotta deal with all these silly cords and now, we're getting rid of this material that can be broken down and turned back into nutrients. That's where soil microbiology from Turf Titan comes into play. This right here is Thatch Buster. This has 30 different soil microbes in it. They all serve a purpose and they are hungry. They've actually done studies in cornfields where when they harvest, all the stalks, grains, and kernels are all over the field and they need these things to break down so they can replant. And they have supplied this to farmers. And now they are bottling this stuff up that farmers use and they're giving it to us DIYers. When you spray this stuff down, it's gonna eat all the dead organisms and start breaking down that thatch and returning all those nutrients back into the soil so it's available for the plant. I want you to think of a buffet. We are adding in a bunch of good guys, all the good bacteria, and that's gonna be eating all the thatch. And that's not gonna leave any food for our fungi and pathogens to eat. So this stuff kinda acts like a disease control. And if you saw my last video on Root Booster, that has 28 microbes in it. This has another 30 in there. We have over 50 different bacterias that are eating everything in the lawn and that's gonna scare away all of our, our bad guys. And if you wanna go the extra mile, which you can, is at, you can tank mix this stuff. You can mix it with your favorite fungicides because this is bacteria. It's not you know, a mycorrhiza like fungi type thing where you know, the fungicide's gonna kill it. It's not gonna kill the microbes. This is bacteria. It's a totally different thing. So you can tank mix this with propylconazole, zoxystrobin, our favorite ones that we always use, plus with all the microbes and spray this on your lawn and it's gonna give you a good fighting chance throughout the season to not have any disease. 
So there's one thing about this product that you need to understand is that it's not gonna heal the lawn and get rid of all the thatch overnight. This isn't like a 24 hour iron and you're gonna get a, a good green response right away. This is like probiotics for your gut. This is probiotics for the lawn. It says it right on the bottle. You know, we're putting good bacteria back into the lawn and it's gonna start to eat the thatch, release all the nutrients and all the carbons back into the soil. And that's where your the grass is planted in the soil. We want good soil, everybody. If you had a microscope and you could look down in the lawn, you'd see this stuff working and I actually might do that. So this season, I'm gonna be returning my clippings back into the lawn and spraying thatch buster down. I want that good bacteria in there to break down that thatch, break down those clippings and return all the nutrients and carbons back into my soil because that's what our plant wants. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications because I am gonna be going over all the Turf Titan products and more about soil microbiology. I'll see you guys in the next one. The runs like a deer, so I've been sitting here drinking beer and cutting grass.